Hello everyone. Uh, so this is the third year part series, right? So in this video, I would just wanted to say that uh, what should an ideal week or month look like for a person who's preparing for NPG in third year? Now, the f most important thing is it should be a mixture of studies, progress, and most importantly, fun. You have to understand it's a three. You're preparing for something which is going to happen three years down the line. If you don't incorporate some amount of fun, some amount of leisure, some amount of activity, you'll burn out. Medicine burns out the best of the minds. I burned down in internship, went to depression, realized that's, you know, that there's more to life than medicine, right? So I want to talk about what exactly should you do that you can have a balance between, you know, you're studying for the NEAT PG also, you, re you really want to crack NEAT PG, you want to get that top thousand, top hundred rank, get into aims if that's what you desire. But at the same point of time, it doesn't come at the cost of your mental health. It doesn't come at the cost of, you know, you losing your contact with your friends, your family, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, and, you know, just being a person all who, who, who a person who knows just nothing but the MCQs, nothing but Maro, nothing but Bhatia notes, nothing but Dam's notes like that. This should be an ideal mix, right? And this is something coming from someone who's been a topper throughout their life. And But something like, you know, you need to have a balance. And I think uh, that's what I am. Now, starting a normal let's look at a normal week so you will have college from 8 to 4 okay i've talked about it in the first video also for six days obviously it's saturday is usually a half day 75 percent attendance say 75 percent he aim karo 75 percent attendance means that you can actually skip out of four classes you can skip one class so i would say that skip the morning morning uh, you know uh, morning lectures on one or two days perfectly fine you know, maybe party on Tuesday night a lot. On Wednesday morning, you don't go. That's the fun of it, right? So it's fully fine. You skip one or two lectures. At the same point of time, but one thing I'll really advise, please attend all the postings, even if they're boring. Like I said, the theory part of MBBS, you can actually do on a correspondence basis. Anyone can buy uh, any coaching platform. But it's the postings. It's you going to see the patients, learning how to examine, taking that history is all that important. And that's what you're learning in MBBS. All right. The procedure part you learn during your internship and the history taking and the clinic, uh, you know, examination part, getting to a diagnosis part, that's what you're learning during your MBBS. So attend postings diligently, learn it. Th lectures, even I know, you know, everyone knows half the professors, half knee, half is a understatement. 99% of the professors end up sucking, and that which was valid pretty much throughout every college. Even in Ames, it's not like, you know, uh, professors were great. First, second prof, definitely, but most professors, you know, the most important thing you have to understand that professors are not ba made on the basis of uh, how good their teachers are. They're made on the basis of how big the nerds they were, how much research they did, how much asses they licked, how much uh, money they paid in order to get to that position, and how much influence they had. They were, you know, cha-cha, taya, you know, papa, cha-cha, vidhayak hai mare kind of, that's how professors are made many professors so they are not really teachers so don't expect them no. we are teachers people who are in the coaching they're teaching for a living so they have to be good so lectures theory from any coaching app but yeah attend postings postings are definitely will attend now aim for what you should ideally aim for is consistency and discipline rather than you know trying to study six hours on a daily basis i would say aim for six three hours of daily basis study three hours is doable three hours gives you ample amount of time for recreation also and ample amount of time for studies also if you can make it four hours great but i would say two and a half to three hours on a daily basis is perfect so you come back from college at four o'clock from four to six sleep recreation whatever you want to do seven to nine pm uh, till seven pm for that matter some seven to nine pm that should be your first study block where you genuinely study go to the library you study in the room study in the room go to the reading room that's whatever you desire do that use 50 10 per modro uh, what is Pomodoro? How to use Pomodoro? That's another one of my very, very famous videos. How to study for 10 to 12 hours in a day. I'll give the link in the description of the video, of that particular video. From 9 to 10 o'clock, take a break, have dinner. Please watch some series uh, or a movie or something like that. Like, you can watch House, Friends. At least they were popular during my time. Now you can watch Good Doctor, you know. Things like that. Whatever you want. Silicon Valley, whatever it is. Right? 10 to 11.30, I would say, try to fit in another proper revision after the dinner. Okay? And from 11.30, usually people sleep, I know medical students tend to sleep at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So after 11.30, take a break. You want to study more, that's perfectly. You don't want to study. Have your hostel mates, you will have your hostel mates. Knock on their door, go out. Uh, if someone, want, some of my your friend might be having a car or have a bike, roam around in the bike. Be careful, wear a helmet always. But 
some bokchodi whatever you want to call it this will give you a perfect balance between you know having recreation also studies also let's say you have a girlfriend then 4 to 7 lock the room do whatever you want after that study study together you know that's how you will uh, have a good personal and professional life together for those who understand right but that what i'm basically trying to say is have a habit where both recreation and studying together exists and you still are able to study for 3 to 4 hours a day now as far as how to manage this what to study and the postings so a lot of you might be think especially if you are doing online platform so like i said if there is a 45 day posting of medicine and surgery and like i said medicine and surgery have to be done in final prof you don't really need to worry right now what you can actually do is that first 30 40 days 30 30 35 days study psm fmt nt or ophthal whatever the subject is actually don't focus on medicine and surgery last 10 days take that exam book examination book hutchinson mcleod das whatever it is to prepare for the posting and end assessment 10 days 10 more than 10 days is not required in fact most people study for 5 to 7 days only during this particular point of time you can actually revise whatever you are studying if you want to start study some disease specifically apart from examination and history taking uh for example in surgery you can study a little bit of breast cancer you can study a little bit of uh you know shocks things like that but if you think about breast cancer if you think about shock if you think about stomach cancer if you think about any pathology you can again revise path pharma with it even if you don't go into the surgical aspects of it properly if you just revise the path pharma of it at that point of time along with history taking and examination that's going to be great so i've created a balance between you know ensuring that your postings also go well you don't score too low on them also and at the same point of time you're revising path pharma also and for 30 days you're actually preparing for neat pg so like again balance right same for piece like i said 50% complete kar lena ent total usko complete kar lena now how should an ideal week that's what is an ideal day how should an ideal week look like an ideal week should look like that out of the seven days keep one day for recreation like genuinely one day you don't study that's perfectly fine but ensure that you study on all the other days try to study or six hours on weekends instead of three hours try to solve previous year questions like i said previous year questions will help you understand what are the important topics and do that note making that i talked about how to make concise notes on the weekends that's why you study for three hours but three hours you spend solving mcqs one to hour solving mcqs and one to hours making notes of what you did during the day okay don't try to do it on weekday itself because then it will become too much time taking you know i mean note making if you can do it great if you can't you have your weekends in order to do the note making so you have your schedule like that but ensure that you have one free day six days a week nobody studies for seven days in a week it's one free day on that day maybe even if you study for half an hour 45 minutes that's perfectly fine but ensure you have uh you know one free day so one i one of my seniors used to tell me that try to study for five minutes on a daily basis also so that that habit does not break that like even if let's say you have come back from partying have had a lot of alcohol come back from the room open one page read one line but maybe just read that one line it will ensure that on the next day you don't be like chalo aaj bhi main masti maar leta hu today also i don't study so you ensure that you study properly for 6 days and one day break bhi hoga but usme ek minute bhi pad loge na wo habit break nahi hogi this is what my senior used to tell me apart from this another thing i would advise is that this is one week kind of thing every 3 months plan a 3 to 5 day break in this you can go to fests you can do quizzes extra curricular trips so during my mbbs you know like I went to London. I went to Singapore. I went to US. Uh, multiple things I did actually. Right. I participated in a lot of quizzes and not medical quizzes, GK quizzes. Won a lot of them. Uh, Fest. I was not a really big fan of, but you should do that. Definitely, every three to five days, try to take a break. Another way you can actually a lot of people are doing uh, currently is using social media, and which is I personally feel a great method. but there is a very small but i want to say prioritize neat pg when what i mean by this is that while you should use youtube in order to have a or instagram or whatever social media platform quora twitter whatever it is uh, at the same point of time prioritize neat pg is because if you crack neat pg in the first attempt or even let's say one drop on the higher side uh, specialization will provide you stability if you think about any neat pg influencer or anyone who's in the mbbs who's an influencer You'll see that they are studying for NEET PG. Everyone is studying for NEET PG. Why? Because just MBBS, unfortunately, is well. It's not that MBBS doesn't provide stability. Even that does a lot, a lot of stability. But M specialization will provide a lot more stability. For example, I started doing YouTube and DM. There is no age for anything. You can start whenever you want, right? I remember one um, girl called me that sir, I'm I have 
topped in my first prof i've gotten good marks in my second prof but what i feel lacking is that you know watching me or watching some other youtuber that uh, i i'm not uh, famous or uh, you know i'm not doing extra curricular things a lot as much as you guys did so uh, th- that's what i told him that if it it's any solace i started youtube in dm you know it's not that i did not have extra curriculums in my mbbs but i prioritize my education over being you know a youtuber you can any time be a youtuber but you can be a doctor only once right now prioritize that at the same point of time i would say that you know uh, you might think a lot of people are making a lot of money and that that might excite you trust me that's not sustainable ab bin on that kitne dete hain preplat ab 20000 30000 rupaye de deta hai 40000 rupaye mil jate hain video ke kitni baar mil jayenge theek hai you will make much more as a doctor trust me and more importantly what happens is in this at this stage you don't realize this uh you will end up influencing people with because of the lure of the money in a wrong manner right so don't do that have a youtube channel as a creative outlet but please don't try to make money uh, by trying to fleece new youtube students which is a very common trend where i'm saying ek mahine mein crack karna hai do mahine mein kaise crack karna hai teen mahine mein kaise crack karna hai it's mbbs students who are doing it right so don't do that give genuine advice and then make money from it yaar yeah? matlab i would say that let's say you have to promote an academy or let's say alan or whatever akash for example then don't promote their uh, promote them in the beginning of the year so that you know how students can prepare or physics wala for that matter right don't promote that ek hafte mein kaise crack ho jayega and sell something at that point of time another thing is don't charge for advice this is a personal pet peeve i feel a lot of people like for example this series is going to be on youtube is going to be totally free right i'm giving you advice a lot of people charge ki hum log paise deke phone karke hazar rupaye le lenge uh, I, I i feel kind of icky like advice should be free right i would rather say you should charge for a proper service you know you want doctor means teach if you feel you are good at something teach you know you think you're really good at pat in second year make a course on pat try to sell it hands down no problem with that advice ke liye paise you know lena thoda sa i feel odd about it if you feel comfortable that's perfectly fine so this is ideal this is how an ideal week and month should look like prioritize both fun and studies have a creative outlet which can be any social media platform which can be other extra curricular quizzes fest whatever you want to call it but uh, do have a balance because mental health is as important as physical health that's it from my side today thank you and have a nice day